Hello everyone, Lights and Gear is back with another product review and guess who's come out with a new battery charger? I think this may be their first battery charger. It's the folks at Zanflare who've already brought us a flashlight or two. They've uh, come out with a keychain light and so forth and uh, branching out again they're now into battery chargers. So, this, so Zanflare has now introduced the C4. If C4 sounds familiar, that was a uh, a naming of a recent charger from the folks at my boxer um, total coincidence because these chargers are not related in any way at all um, but anyway my boxer was also a c4 however this is from Zanflare and it does have many of the same features as previous chargers I mean after all how different can you really get sometimes with a battery charger however I say that and there have been a couple of uh, uh, rather um, have been a couple of models which uh, have shown a, a fair amount of ingenuity. However, we have here uh, the, the Zen Flare C4, and as you can see right from the box, it does give you four charging options of 300, 500, 700, and 1,000, um, which is pretty good. And uh, the box uh, is like any other, with not a whole lot of information, so let's just open her up and take out the user manual which is uh, very nice and easy to read so you've got that here uh, pardon me while I put a little bit more light on and uh, inside the box obviously you have the C4 charger and there are also a couple of accessories here let me just make sure I'm zoomed out because uh, this, uh, this, uh, is, this charger is a, a tiny bit uh, larger than some of the others we've seen in the past. That's not a bad thing, nor is it a, nor is it a good thing, I suppose. It's just what it is. So, um, but it's not terribly big. Just a little bit bigger than, uh, say, one of the my boxers that we had recently. These ones are kind of compact. Of course, this is only a two bay, so I guess that's a bad, uh, a bad comparison. Uh, but anyway, you have your four slots here, and let me just uh, take the other stuff out of the box just to show you what's in there. You do have a, a car charger which is a, a little different from some of the others I've seen. <clears throat> so here you have that for the car or for wherever that takes a, a car charger type of plug and uh, uh, already removed from the box was the adapter. So here is that. It is a 12 volt adapter and before you say oh yeah I've got about 17 or 18 or a thousand of those around my house you may as I do but the end on this one is a little different so uh, unfortunately this charger will not um, be compatible with most others that you might see floating around from other chargers because usually let me just use this as an example so the uh, standard 12 volt charger usually has a, a plug like this but the Zanflare has one like this and I'm not sure what the millimeters of of these are of these but anyway it's it's completely different so uh, so uh, that goes in on the bottom and there is also a USB port on the bottom that is a 5 volt and it either outputs 1 amp or 2 amp depending on how many batteries you have in here to power it. With one battery it would be one amp and with two batteries it would be two amps so you can use it as a power bank. Now the correct way to hold the charger or use the charger is this way. When I first picked it up I thought it was this way because that seemed rather standard to me and in most chargers your batteries go in this way with the spring going down but not with the C4 it's um, it's the opposite so this is the way you look at the charger with the display on the bottom here are the numbering buttons for each bay for each slot and then here you have current and mode but so the way this is different is that the battery will go in this way um, I'm trying to find the other end of the of the plug here and there is your display your typical null 
as you see on other chargers before any batteries are inserted. Um, it has little vents up here, so I don't know if this uh, acts as some kind of, uh, I haven't heard it use any kind of a fan, but um, I suppose they may be used for ventilation. So anyway, the uh, display can be seen in most, in most uh, types of light. As soon as you press any of the buttons, it does liven up because at first it is bright and then after about 30 seconds it dims a little bit but with the press of a button it will stay bright if you would like or well it only stays bright for as as long as it as long as it's timed to be and then it uh, and then it turns down a little bit anyway so it will accept any and all types of lithium rechargeable batteries it does not accept life po4 but will accept nimh of course i have um here I have an NIMH, and we'll put that in, and as you can see, here's the, here's the tip. So you do put it in what would be considered backwards for the sake of discussion. So it goes in thusly, and then right away it starts to flash and gives you, you know, approximately the, uh, where the battery is charge-wise. And as I have done nothing, as I have pushed no buttons, it starts with a 500 MA current, and that's where it will stay for the duration of the charge. If um, I wanted a slightly higher current, I can do that even after it's already started, which is uh, pretty good. A lot of chargers don't allow you to do that. There you see the display just dimmed a bit. So if I want to change it, I just press the corresponding button to the bay and hold it. Then it will start flashing again, and then if I press the current button, I can increase it. So there's your 3, 5, 7, and 1. So if you go to 7 and stop, then it will do that. Then if I wanted to change it from, from charging to doing something else, I can, do, I can press the mode button. Because here are the other choices you get. Other than charge, you have NOR test and fast test. So there are three types of functions that it will perform. Don't ask me what NOR means. Unless somebody else knows and can tell me, I have no idea what NOR means. But the difference between the test modes is that the fast test does it rather quickly, and the NOR test takes a little longer and does what would be a standard uh, battery test for most other chargers. In other words, what you're doing is finding out what the capacity of the battery is. So with the fast test, all it will do is discharge the battery and then charge it again. Obviously, if it hasn't got much voltage in it to begin with, it won't take long to discharge, and then it will start charging it up again. With the NOR test, it'll do a full cycle. It'll do a full charge, and then a discharge, and then a complete charge back up again. Um, I'm not sure if there's supposed to be any difference between the two. I don't know why they included the NOR. If the fast test does the same thing, pretty much, it discharges and charges. So if somebody else um, knows the theory behind that, or if charging, discharging, and charging again, I mean, I know that's the standard for most discharging chargers. So if that's a particular um, way of actually getting the full reading of a battery, then so be it but you have both options with this anyway so point of the matter is you can do a discharge or you can do a charge and a discharge and then a charge so that's up to you while your battery is charging you can hit the uh, the mode button actually no I take that back while it's charging you can hit the slot button and that'll take you through a number of different um, well let's just do that it's showing right now that you're charging that the charging current is 500. So if I give it a press, it'll show the voltage, 129. It'll show the, um, the uh, capacity. So that's how much um, MAH it has put in the battery thus far, 13, 14. Press it again, and you get the resistance of the battery. And press it again, and here's the elapsed time that it's been running so far. Some chargers will default back to uh, voltage or something like that if um, when you're cycling through these um, items. 
Some chargers will default and go back to a particular one after a moment. This one doesn't. It stays where you leave it. So whatever you put it at here, it will stay it will stay there until the charge is complete. When the charge is complete, it'll show the final voltage of the battery and in little wee tiny letters, no bigger than this one that says charge right here, it'll say END for end and that will flash to indicate that the uh, charge is finished. So let's uh, put another battery in and of course just about any will do. Here's a uh, lithium, here's an 18350. They do recommend to put batteries in separately. So if I put it in right away and then press current, I can go through again the different, uh, the different currents and stop at any one I want. And again, I could even change this to a discharge if I wanted to. And uh, it will handle all bays, all slots, all batteries independent of the other. So now this one's charging at 500, this one's, uh, is that 500 or did I change it? Uh, well, you can always press the button and find out. It is at 500, I remember that now. Yeah. So that one's at 500, that one's at 1000, and as I say, you can toggle through these and leave them at any particular um, spot you want. And uh, of course it'll take larger batteries. Uh, do I have a, um, oh yeah. Here's a 26650, so it'll fit one of these in here as well. I haven't tried to see how many 26650s you could get in the charger at once. I believe you can get another one uh, next to it, it because the, the slots are of a good size. So here you go on this one. And everything, you know, does the same as everything else. You can just have different battery sizes, different types of batteries. Uh, different functions on each battery if you want, etc, etc, etc. And so the other lithiums that are in here won't feel too lonely. I will put a, um, an 18650 in. Here's a, a cheap nondescript 18650. So we can put that in. And uh, there you go. So there you can charge up to four batteries, of course, at once. Everybody does their own thing. Press the current button, change it to something else if you want. Now it's at a thousand. And uh, so there you have four batteries all doing their own thing. And uh, again, this could be changed to a discharge if you wanted that to happen as well. It does not show you if there's any um, uh, fluctuation within the current as is what commonly happens when the battery reaches its uh, capacity. Normally there will be a reduction in current, but it doesn't show you that. It just keeps it at the same um, it keeps it at the same place the whole time. So it won't tell you if there's any fluctuation in, uh, in how much current is going in. It'll just keep saying 500, 1000 whatever, until the battery is finished charging. And then it will give you the, the full voltage, which actually, I think in this case too, is uh, defaulted at 4.2. So if it ends at 4.17, in all likelihood it's going to say 4.12. So you could always double check it with a multimeter after it finishes. Um, so that's uh, pretty much it as far as how you use the charger. And when everything's finished, it'll show END, and uh, that's the end of that. So, um, it's, a, it's a viable charger within the very crowded market of chargers these days. You know, it has many safety features. Um, if you look through the instruction manual, it does uh, cover itself for uh, several times, several several elements of safety. It covers itself for temperature. It covers itself for overcharge and discharge. Um, it has a zero voltage activation function. So it'll uh, wake up an alt, uh, 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 you know, an otherwise dead battery. Um, it will have, uh, it automatically identifies if a battery is damaged with, has reverse polarity protection of course, and it accepts a multitude of different sizes. My friends at uh, GearBest have uh, been so gracious as to have me try out the sand flares, so there's a link below if you'd like to pick one up from them. 
Uh, the link is below if you want to look at the review that I've written on this for my website. If that in interests you, you can certainly get more bits and pieces from the manual in my written review. And as I say, the link is there and below if you'd like to pick one up from my friends at GearBest. Uh, this has been the Zanflare C4 charger. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've gotten something out of it. Any questions or comments, let me know below. And um, see you next time with more flashlights, batteries, and chargers from Lights and Gear. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.